baba yetu na mungu wetu ulituleta kwa hii ukumbi ukiwa na mpango na kila mmoja wetu sasa nitakuwa nimeachwa nimesimama ili nikanena neno lako naomba ukanitumie na hili neno likawe la msaanda kwa kila mmoja ambaye ako katika hii ukumbi na kataa mipango ya shetani na kemea mapepo ambayo inatembea wakati neno lako Mungu linaendelea naomba Mungu kashuka katikati yetu na ukatuwezeshe kuelewa na kujua jinsi unavyotaka kanasi na utubariki kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na tumeamini tukae chini Bwana asifiwe. Mutikege hivi. Haleluya. Jitakwa mwagi. Wa mugai. Na kuheshiria eh, Men Fellowship manye daga mudenya wa Men Fellowship. Bwana asifiwe. Leo dio inyu munye daga li. Tono weka kumenya leo ya munye daga. Todo Men Fellowship oni makenye daga mudenya wa Men Fellowship. What about the church? Sijui. Kwa hivyo sasa ati muna nipenda leo. <laughs> Kwa hivyo naambiwa muna nipenda leo. Leo isha mimi niende. Basi kama muna nipenda ga leo wakati wa men fellowship muwe muna niletea miwa, unga na sukari. Dio nikienda kabla nikuje mwaka ukiisha sintakuwa nimeshiba. Kwa hivyo kwa nini nya sasa muna nipenda siku moja. Mimi nimeokoka Kristo amekuwa rafiki yangu na amekuwa tegemeo langu. Tangu wakati tulikuwa na nyinyi last year siku ya men fellowship niko salama na endelea kufurahia wema wa Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Na nimetembea inchi sana. Karibu niende Israel. Lakini sijafika Israel lakini naendelea kuwaombea. Sijui kama wewe unawaombea. Sasa wakati tulipewa theme hii ambao tuko nayo ya men fellowship kitabu cha Yoshua mlango wa 13 mimi nilianza kujiuliza kwa hivyo hata wa leo hata kinachoendelea kube it is yet business not completed bwana asifiwe kwa hivyo biashara ya Mungu bado haijaisha wakati uh, Joshua waliingia pale the promised land na wakanyakua zile 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 walikuwa wamenyakua wakati ule ni kama bado bado hakuja nyakuliwa bwana asifiwe sana aliposa tunastahili kuombea Israel sana kwa sababu yeyote ambaye anaombea Israel atakuwa mbalikiwa i know people lead bible wale ambao wanasoma bible whatever is not happening there hawezi ishtuka sana lakini kama yeye hausomagi bible kuko na shida mahali praise the lord maana kinachoendelea Israel na mambo ambayo yanaendelea these are prophecies that are being fulfilled praise the lord lakini tukiakea haya saa zingine anaogofia haleluya eh tukianza kuongea mambo ya eschatology ama mambo ya mwisho wa dunia na vile events zile zitafanyika watu wengi huogopa sana na nyinyi mkifundishwa mnasema huyo sasa ameondoka kwa neema si ni kweli watu wakifundishwa mambo ya head time wengine wanasema he hayo ni magumu hatuwezi elewa praise the lord lakini nafikiri tunastahili kuelewa chochote kinafanyika duniani Mungu anakijua na anakielewa praise the lord tusiwe waoga hata what is happening in our nation god is very aware haleluya mambo ambayo yanaendelea nchini Mungu is god is god is very aware whatever is happening in your marriage Whatever is happening in your life God is so aware. Praise the Lord. Na hakuna kitu na saa zingine mimi nasikianga watu wakiomba anasema go tire kikubaga na dhudha. Na saa zingine nashidwa kwa nini tena umeanza kuogopa na unasema hakuna jambo linatoka Mungu nyuma ba, anawea. Unajua wewe unaweza patwa na jambo anawea but God will never. Haleluya. Hata patwa na jambo anawea. He is aware of everything that is happening in our lives. Praise the Lord. Kwa hivyo ukifukuzwa na bwanako God is still aware. Sasa hapo sasa kimeumana tena. Unaona wamenyamaza wame pio kabisa. Eh? Yeah? Wengine anauliza na nikipigwa he is aware. He is aware. Ni wewe tu umeachilia mdomo 
ikaonekana ugogwe na Mungu tu alikuwa tu awe anatagogwa tu lakini akaachilia tu aachilia mdomo haleluya ati wa mama anasema kuna mwingine anachapagwa bila kuogea <laughs> Okay akakoa ya dogehoro. <laughs> Mimi nasema anga ukinyamaza ama upi, u, u, usikie mzee pressure imepanda sana utoke nje kidogo. Eh? Na kwambia hautapigwa. Wengine kile kinafanyaga mtu achapwe ni kwa sababu amekatalia pale. Ndiradhi iko dogo tha. Kutha hali oruka gira. You know? Nitaondoa gura ga ili akagothamo. Akagothamo do not you know? But God is all aware of whatever happens in our lives. Praise the Lord. If you have to be able to do God is aware of whatever happens in your life. Sasa wei ni kumuambia mungu naomba. Sababu wei you are aware of this. Help me to conquer. Nisaidie kushida. Niwe mshidi. Sinikweli. Sababu kiwa mshidi, basi uko katika hali nzuri ya maisha. Basi ile kitabu tumesoma ya kwanza inaonkea mambo mazito mazito na haya ni mambo ambayo tukiyasoma sana saa zingine tunajiuliza kwani Mungu anaongeaga mambo ya fita mambo ya kunyakua kila wakati lakini nataka kukwambia Mungu ni mwaminifu and he is a promise keeper ukiona mahali tumesoma Hebrews chapter 10 anasema yeye anafanya zile agano amefanya nawe sifike and that is the, the word He is a promise keeper. Sasa anaambia Joshua, we umezeeka. Na miaka imeenda. Lakini kuna kazi bado. Praise the Lord. Unajua kuna wamama ikifika ma- miaka ingine wanasema ma nimezi nimezeeka. Eh? Na wazee pia wakizeeka anasema miaka imeenda sana mimi nimeze. Lakini Joshua anaambiwa kweli miaka imeenda lakini bado kuna kazi ya kufanya praise the lord lakini kuna kitu ambao nitaambia wale wazee ambao wamepitiza miaka wame, wamefika 70 years kama kwa sababu wakati Joshua anaambiwa hivi alikuwa hiyo miaka ya 70 akaambiwa gawia 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 abia mwenzako ni vizuri kugawa saa zingine kama umefikisha 70 na haujagawa shaba mzee unakosea maana ni vibaya wewe umefikisha 70 na vitu zako hazijulikani mahali ziko so kama umefikisha 70 Joshua anaambiwa hata kama kuna kazi tu ya kuenda kufanya ya kunyakua zingine hii uko nayo tayari gawia wana wa Israeli praise the lord si wazee mlisema nikuje nihubiri si lazima niwaambie mgawe haleluya maana wazee ndio wanaachia watu mali Haleluya. Ni mzee uache ka kitu. Sababu ni vizuri kuacha ka kitu. Na nyinyi vijana sababu saa zingine mnagojea zile vitu zilitafutwa na baba, tafuta zako hata wewe. Jitafutie zako. Sababu ni vizuri kujitafutia zako. Hata ukiwa miaka 70 kwanza wanaume, hata ukiwa 70 you are still strong vile vile Joshua anaambiwa you are still strong na Joshua anakufa akiwa na 110 na wakati anaambiwa basi kuna sham, kuna mamba you know, kuna kuna zile shamba zingine ambao wanaenda kunyakua alikuwa about 69 or 70 years na hapo anaambiwa bado kuna kazi ya kufanya kwa hivyo hakuna uzee kwa mtu ambaye anaendelea tu kugojea the promises of god mtu ambaye anagojea ahandi za Mungu ambazo tunasemanga they are yes and amen hakuna kuzeeka eh yeah? hata kama uko 70 years na maybe unasema mimi nilipata watoto wanne na upaka Mungu anipe kingine kama moja pia utaweza pata tariki ya dobe kama makugawa tige hotekeka ya yeah, kuna mambo inafanyika Yeah, maybe maybe it was in, your, in the promises lakini bado haukukapata na mama sasa alizeeka na maybe alizeeka na na akaenda na wewe unaendelea kujipa moyo unaweza chukua mtu na upate mtoto mwingine kwani iko nini 70 years ni mtu mdogo 
mwanaume hajazeeka bado si ni ukweli na ndio maana Joshua anaambiwa you are still strong ni wa mama ananiangalia hapo vibaya na kadhuri kakoroka hiki tudhuri tukuro kwanza kamzee kanaweza hawa kasichana sababu sijui kwa nini ilienda hivyo lakini hiyo sasa tutakifika huko tutauliza sababu hiyo ni ya huko eh sababu wewe ukiolewa wewe maitoge okay hiki ni mwanaka wa dhaate ni fita kubwa sana watu wataogea sana si ni kweli lakini mzee wa rika yako akiwa msichana wa dhaate years it is okay si ni kweli i don't know why lakini kuna kuingine pia tukikuja kujenda kama siku hizi unakuta tukikuja kwa mama kuna mambo they are very acceptable to them but when it come to men they are not acceptable si ni kweli it is like that and we have to take life the way it is because life has to move on kuna mzee mmoja alikaa na mke wake na watoto wakaenda ulaya wakamsahau kabisa wakamsahau kabisa walikuwa tu wanapiga simu lakini mwishowe wakakaa kama hawapigi simu mzee alikuwa ameenda miaka ilikuwa imeenda sana lakini ye mwenyewe akasema hapa nitatumia ujaja hawa watoto hawakujagi hawatumagi pesa vile walikuwa wanatuma kitabo sasa nitafanya namna gani akachukua simu akapigia mtoto mmoja wa kesi nda kuhuri dai nyona nyokwari ni akwete lakini mamake yako amekufa eh sasa watoto mpaka wakakopa pesa fea eh hey, ndio walipe ndege wakuje walipokuja wakakibia kwa wakakuta table ma, baba ako pale wakamhug wakamwambia pole sana baba ah, mambo itakuwa sawa kwenda kitchen wakakuta mami sasa akauliza ni nini ilifanya baba atuambie ati hauko wakarudi kwa baba yao kasema watu ila mamini akuite niki akawaambia ni nyumu tane terera ndimulikirie uri andiramwiraga tondu unajua ukiambua ni akuite no kulira kulira no igethimu no ndoneterera wiruo ni ufafa wake mwira tiriri ni akuite goro ni kumweterera sasa zikine wazee ukiwa na hekima unaweza pata mambo yamebadilika hata kama umezeeka ni vizuri saa zingine utumie mambo mengine ah ehe si unaona watoto wamekuja kutoka America si walikuwa wamekatalia huko na wale makero mami wanyu ni akuite na odhi mwaregire ndetere ile ero ni gukua gukua ka ni goro akuite na mami wao ni akuite goro tondu wagweterera ciana cioke praise the lord kwa hivyo si wamekuja si lazima sasa uambie mmenikosea mme sana mmenikosea sana mme, you know kwa hivyo nataka kusema mzee hata ukizeeka na muna gani endelea ku encourage your family maana huyu mama walipanga na mzee ya yeah, walipanga nikaza uri meru atire ni akuite goro no matia tena ile alikie ni goro yake tena tena saa zingine ni vizuri mzee uwe mtu ambaye anafikiria na ukifikiria kuna mambo itabadilika kwa sababu hata ukizeeka lazima uendelee kuona mbele kama the hand of the family kuna wamama ambao wameweza wanaume kabisa unakuta kwa familia mzee hawezi hata hata mipango mipango eh hata mama za mama zi, wengine wanasema wakwenda kwa namufago ni jifaga na kia hata ukizeeka na muna gani mzee onyesha wewe die mwenye mpango maana unakuta mzee hakuna maudo ni kufa gani kufa gani mameke ihuragi kaka koko tika fagire maudo isipokuwa ni mimi nipange mambo huku hakuna kitu kinaweza faulu kuna mama anajipeanga hiyo moto sana huku ni mimi eh. na wale wazee kukitembea nyumbani kama hauko ukutwe na wageni useme wenyewe hawako wewe unakoseaka tiende huko matire kuo na wewe kuo hao wazee mimi nawaambianga hapo unakosea because you are the owner the other one is the vice president si ni kweli huyo mwingine ni deputy wewe ndiye mwenyewe unasahili kusema ni yeye ni ndiye kuo noma udumale madira go namo ni deputy ni ndidiraga nake namo 
Si ni kweli? Kini unakuta ye, eh, ndekuwa mati ndekuwa, na honi yedego huko. Let's take our position. Joshua anaambiwa umezeeka. Lakini, utachukua position yako, and then you are going to conquer more lads. Si ni kweli? Na alikuwa umezeeka, keni mazi ni mtu wa miaka hiyo sabini, Ha? ama beyond sabini, anaambiwa utanyakua. Si watu wakifikisha miaka 70, saa zikine wanakanga tu wameboeka. Nafraishwa sana na mamangu. My mother is over 75 years. Na mamangu ukimpata kwa shamba utashanga. Mamangu wanafanya kazi mingi sana ya shamba kuliko vile mimi naweza fanya. Mimi nafraia sana nikimuona hivo. Sababu ya gani? Kwa maana, hana shida ya mwiri. Hana jambo ambalo ni namusubua. Unakuta anafanya mambo. Na hea anafraia sana wakati. Ukimuambia asiende kwa shamba, anakuambia weo reda agwe. Hata nikimpia pesa anjiri mtu, ananiambia aga, neko shio yae. Na honi edi weather modo, kawukahau nego lekeredia. Kwa sababu, iyo exercise inamsaidia sana. Nataka kusema hivi, kuna watu ambao wamekaa, hata wakiambiwa wanaweza, kwa akiri zao, wanasema haiweze kani. Joshua alikuwa mzee. Na angeambiwa inawezekana kunyakuwa shamba zingine. Angesema ha, haiwezekani. Lakini ye mwenyewe kuna jambo ambalo alilimuwezesha. Alijua ni mungu ambaye aliahidi na yeye anamuwezesha. Praise the Lord. Alijua ni mungu ambaye anamuambia na ni yeye aliahidi kuwa atawapea hizo shamba ama atawapea the Lord akaamua ni nafanya kuringana na mapenzi ya mungu. Praise the Lord. Kuna mambo mungu alikuwa hidi ukiwa mtoto. Wale watu ambao ni waobaji. Kuna mambo ulihaidiwa na mungu ukiwa mtoto. Ukiwa msichana, msichana hivi. Ukiwa kijana kijana hivi. Hata mimi kuna mambo na simamanga bere ya mungu na muambianga. Uri ni ya hidi. Uri ni ya hidi. Na yandelea kutumainia. Wewe unatimiza ahadi zako. Maana ahadi zako lazima zitimie katika maisha yangu. Mi naambianga watu, unapogoja mungu. Mambo matatu. Siku hizi nasikia mambo ni matatu. Sinasikia kama kisema mambo ni matatu. Hitha ukae kwako. Ama utoroke. Eh? <laughs> oh. Nasikia mambo ni matatu. Hata huku kwa kanisa labda mambo ni matatu. Hitha ukae vile kanisa inasema. Ama uende. Ama uhame. Sini ukweli? Lakini mambo, matatu ambao nitakuambia wakati unakojea mungu. Najua kuna watu hapa wanaedelea kukojea mungu. Labda mungu alikuwa hidi ulipo olewa, utapata mtoto na bado hauja pata. Usife moyo. Usife moyo. Alie ya hidi ni muaminifu. Na atatimiza. Kwa hivyo when you are waiting, kitu ya kwanza, do not die when you are waiting. Usitikie kufa, unapogoja. Abia mwenza kondoka ya tekile kukua wetele ile. Usitikie kufa wakati, unagoja. Unastahiri wawu naimba ile wimbo ya wanyoike. Digo kuwane ngotora moyo. Na unastahiri uwe unaiba marambiki. Dio shetani ya sikia hukufi. Mbana kuna, kuna watu wanakufa tuwa kiwa wai. Nakuta mtu yani, amegojea, amegojea, ameona haitafanyika. Anasema liku kapa kwa wekua. Tio mana unaona watoto wetu, wanagojea, wanajinyonga. Siku hizi tumezika watu wengi sana wakujinyonga. Wengine ni kukosa nafasi ya kuongea. Wengine ni kukosa urafiki. Hata sisi wazazi tumekosa kuwa na nafasi ya watoto wetu. We are very busy looking for money and wealth, but we have no time for our kids. Yeah. Ni ukweli. Hatuna time. Tunatafuta maali. Unatafuta, unatafuta, unasahau watoto. Kwa na watoto wanapelekwa boarding school wakiwa na miaka kumi. Ama less than ten years. Na kuta katoto kama pere kwa body. Na unaona kama ni kupenda, unapenda huyo mtoto, lakini siku mpenda. I don't agree with someone who can take the kid to, to, to the boarding school 
akiwa mdogo mimi i don't agree with that even if you hate me because according to my psychological training i don't think you know your kid haujui mtoto wako na bado umemchukua umempeleka kwa mwalimu anakaa huko anamaliza class 8 anatoka class 8 sasa hizi tuko CBC eh yeah? sasa hii at least mtakaa na watoto wenu at least CBC imeleta watoto karibu na wazazi hata ikawa kuna wengine pia wanapelekwa boarding na wanapenda wanaenda 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 because when you don't know your kid you never know your kid hautawahi mjua kama haujakaa na mtoto wako when the, past, the, the, the kid is growing in the adultery uh, uh, you know people at a stage adolescent hiyo eh, umjue uelewe huyu mtoto ni wa aina gani na kuambia huyo mtoto hautamuelewa na ndio maana unaona watoto mpaka wa matajiri sana wanachukua kamba wanajitoa moyo wanajitoa uhai kwa nini kwa maana they have seen that there is no one who love me kuna msichana ambaye anafanya counseling saa hii na huyu msichana huyu msichana she hate her mother very much lakini mama yake hajui lakini yali niambi i hate my mom kamuliza kwa nini kwa maana mom hana time na mimi hani appreciate haoni kama mimi ni mtu huyu mtoto alipelekwa boarding school akiwa class 6 akiwa class 7 akiwa class 7 hapo ndio alipatana na shida kubwa sana akawa attractive ama aka attract mwalimu kwa shule alafu mwalimu akapenda katoto na akaanza kuendos relationship na mwalimu akawa na urafiki na mtoto na huyo rafiki ukaendelea the girl was lipped multiple times but she never disclosed to anyone she has disclosed to me after finishing form 4 when she is almost going to the campus why because the mother has no time there is no one who has time Can you you know what it happened but I had no one to tell It has been a very big issue to her Aliniona nikiongea online about how people keep secrets in their life and those secrets keep on eating them up until they are finished Ah what what mnaona wakijitoa kitanzi si kutaka kwao huyu mtu maybe alipitia kwa issue ambayo inamsumbua lakini hana na hakuna mahali aliweza kukaa chini na mtu akatoa hayo mambo and we are very busy doing all that we can do but we are not having time for our children hii ndio kitu ambao mimi inaniumiza sana sababu wazazi hatuna time na watoto wetu hatuna Unaweza omba ruhusa mahali unafanya kazi ama unaweza funga duka yako ama biashara yako uende event ya rafiki yako ambaye mnasaidiana kimaisha wakati uko na ka event anaweza toa 1500 ama kumi but you cannot have time for your own kids we are destroying our kids we need to wake up we need to know that our children are getting lost because we have no time for them and when we find time for our children they will open up to us watafungua roho zao na watatuambia kuna mambo mengi mengi kuna yeye mwingine ambaye naongeresha pia huyu alikuwa amekunywa dawa kwa bahati nzuri hakukufa lakini amekaa hospitali more than 2 weeks ndio dawa itolewe kwa mwili lakini it wasn't easy kwake kuwa na nafasi ya kukaa chini na mimi alikuwa anasema hakuna mtu anaweza nikalisha chini aniongeresha kwa nini kwa maana watoto wetu tuna tunawalea kwa njia ambayo 
Hakuna mtu mwingine anaweza mwongeresha. And that's why we are telling people we need to realize mahali tumepotelea. Mimi nikiona mtu akienda vibaya, mimi I don't kama nyinyi, unaona hata nyinyi? Eh? Nyinyi sio shida. Unaona vile hata mna behave? Si kutaka kwenu. It's your parent. Shida si wewe. Unaona hata vile uwewe unatoaka sadaka kidogo kwa kanisa. Shida si wewe. In fact si wewe. Unaona hiyo mpaka kutoka ku, kukataa kutoa tithe full. Hiyo in full amount of the tithe. Si shida wewe. Shida ni wazazi wako. Hawako kufundisha vile inastahili. Ndio maana ni kufurutwa kwa maisha. And we live a lot of problems. A lot of problems. Why? Kwa maana hatuwe hatuti Joshua anasema ambaye ananiambia nifanye hivi ni Mungu. Kwa hivyo nitatii. Praise the Lord. Nitatii. Sauti ya Mungu ni kwanza you obey. Hiyo ndio kitu ya kwanza ndio weze kupokea the promises of God. Lazima uwe mtu mutiifu. Lazima uwe obedient. Do you want to receive the promises of God? You must be obedient. Tell your neighbor you must be obedient. Joshua hata kama alikuwa mzee, alitii. Msema, ni kweli Mungu amesema lazima nifanye hii kazi. Praise the Lord. Hata kama hakuwa na nguvu, yeye mwenyewe angesema nimezeeka sina nguvu. Lakini alitii. Na hapo ndio sasa mwanzo wa kupokea ahadi za Mungu katika maisha yako. T. Watu wengi si watiifu. Hata kwa doa ndio maana we don't keep promises because we are not obedient. Unasimama mbele ya kanisa. Naulizwa, "Hajikoni kuga na ma. Nwe tikira joroge. Atuike mudhuri wako. Ako hikie. Umwedage na mwadhi kagere." Na ndio kuga na ma mbele ya doa na mbele ya gai. Ati ndio limuigua na ndio kuturawi wake wiki. <laughs> Kanga yeye nikua. No hedio tunaenda tuweke ati tunataka hilo jambo lipite eh. Hiyo ibada ishe. Si ni kweli? Mwishowe because of disobedience tunaanza kupigwa kwa doa, tunaanza shida kwa doa, tunajiuliza kwani kuliadaji but there is no obedience. We don't obey. Praise the Lord. Na kuja hapa mbele ya Mungu wakati wa kuchukua nathri wakati unawekelewa mikono na mchungaji anakuuliza ehe nataka kukuuliza unaamini Mungu baba mwana na roho mtakatifu nasema ehe unaamini Yesu Kristo kama mwokozi wa maisha yako ehe na sasa hiyo haujaokoka alafu sasa ndio wewe unapokewa unaingizwa kwa holy communion alafu sasa kwa sababu hautii eh unakojea tuambiwe Sunday dia holy communion dio ujitakaze na kwa sababu wewe haujitakaza hangi unakojeaga tu wakati wa huko mimi ndio ujitakaze unatakaza kupitia unasema ona hidwe gidali ile na dalalite kwa kada na kutiri dogo yake kile <laughs> eh nilikuwa nimeraa mtu alafu nikakuja kwa huko mimi nikakura lakini hakuna kitu ilifanyiki kwa hivyo mimi nitaendelea tu alafu sasa unasema hiyo siku ya huko mimi wakati tulikuwa tunakula huko hiyo 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 usiku tulikuwa tumekorogana sana na bwanangu na nilikula na hakuna kitu ilifanyika First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 30 inasema Kwa sababu ya kutokula holy communion in the light manner that's why some of you are sick some of you are weak and some have died We don't keep the promises of God hata wakati tunakuja hapa tunachukua nathri ama hizo vows we don't keep them ndio maana mhubiri akrasisi chapter 5 inasema usiwe na haraka sana kutoa ahadi ambao hautatimiza si ni kweli tunatoanga ahadi lakini hatufi, hatufanyi vile tunasema kama si sasa hivi ndio kanisa elections zimefanyika na watu labda mmeingizwa kazi chama mnakoje ha si ndio kuna zile vows mtakuja hapa mchukue. Na kuna watu wanazikojea. Lakini hata wakiitwa mikutano mingine hawatakuwa naenda. 
Nasema na hii adhulirwa. Let's be obedient. Praise the Lord. Wacheni tutii na tunaona ukuu wa Mungu katika maisha yetu. Naye Mungu sababu ahandi zake anatimizanga atatimiza ahandi katika maisha yetu. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Kitu ingine. Ndio uweze kuutimiza ama do you, if, if you want to keep your promises, you must laugh. If you love God with all your heart, you are able to keep his promises in your life. And he is able to keep the promises that he has. Upendo unafanya mtu aweze kutimiza ahadi. Si ni kweli? Ukinipenda, utaniumiza. Ukinipenda, utanipiga. Ukinipenda, utaenda kwa waganga. Kuniuda. E, nauliza wa mama hapo. Sema mke wangu ananipenda kabisa. Ataniendea kwa mganga. Thonde ko fago. Kupangwa. Unajua? E, kupangwa. Nita, nitaendewa? Shushu. Sitaendewa, sindio? Sababu upendo utamzuia kuniendea. Sindi kweli? Kama unapenda mungu, utakosa ushirika. Utakosa ibada. Utakosa kutoa sadaka. Utakosa kutoa sufuku la kumi. Utatoa kutii wakati kanisa inasema tufanya hivi. Uta, utakosa kwa sababu ya upendo. The love will push you to do what is necessary. Sinu kweli? Sinu kweli baba? Love. Kwa hivyo upendo ni kitu ingine ambayo itafanya wewe mwenyewe ukaweza kupokea zile ya handi mungu ame ame kuahiti. Wewe umpende na roho yako na mwiri wako na nguvu zako na ye atatimiza yale ambayo ame kuahiti. Upendo. Sini kweli? Lakini si hile maombi. Najua watu wana mezoea kuomba maombi. Dogo kidogo kidogo. Kidogo, kidogo. Na mimi sababu ni mwalimu wa dini na ambianga watu hivi. Hakuna maombi dogo. Iyo muna semanga na hao machache. Iyo machache pereka kuingine lakini si kwa mungu. Maombi ni maombi. Prayer is prayer. Hakuna maombi kidogo kwa mungu. Hata kama ni maneno mawiri umesema. Iyo ni maombi. Maombi ni maombi. Can you tell your neighbor maombi ni maombi? Sababu nakuta mtu wamesema eh. Ona maria tu tana kuila. Ona moni o yes. Okay? No ma uali di kana kumu irali. Muire ma unu mama kutumi te joke. Ma uote ota na tu kuita tika tika utida ni ana mamo no. Tado ni amoi. The Bible says even before we mention, he knows. Sa zikine tu na fanya kama mungu sa zikine ni kama hajuangi. Ata sa zikine mi na ambia kwa watu wa ba wa na kujaka kuabia mungu doka ukoli di kania. Mungu ni tumekuja hapa kukukubusha. Sikura hatu kana wapaka hivyo. Hey, kwanza wakati hile hile PCA ilikuwa PCA. <laughs> si, wakati huu sasa imekuwa eh, mix. Ikona upete kosto, ikona upCA. Wakati hile PCA ilikuwa PCA kabisa. Wakati kulikuwa na hile darama ilikuwa inakaa doma. Simula ikubuka. Doma. Na ilikuwa na watu very expert. Wale ambao walikuwa na apiga. Anasimama. Kabla musimame njini. Yedi alikuwa anasimama wa kwaza. Anagonga darama mora moja. Pa. Munasimama. Arafa na peana kamstari. Hiko chega yako hoya. enzi zile kuna wakati ulikuwa unasikiza maombi vile inaombwa unaona ni kama huyo mtu hata anakubusha Mungu yeye ni nani unakusikia maombi unasema hey nita gayatoi modo sio e kwa bete ku introduce but when when you are prayerful wakati wewe ni muobaji you have no time to introduce yourself maana mlikuwa na Mungu just recently, I'm a leo asubui. So you have no time to introduce yourself. So you are going to God. I have come, O oh Lord. You are my father. I am here again. Because this is it, and this is it, and this is it. He is a faithful God. 
Praise the Lord. Love will cause you to achieve the promises. Zile mungu wame kuahidi katika maisha yako. Love ya mungu. Now, love, of, love of God will cause you not to misbehave. Because we, nowadays, Christians are misbehaving. Siku hizi, tumejichanganya sana. Sana. Misiku hizi ziyo beagu ina watu wote. Niliona maubi ya watu wekine hayedi. Nikasema mimi, sitaki kuwabewa na watu wote. Mimi kuna watu nimeenda ni kiselect. Nambia, taho ya gira maito. Taho ya gira maito. Ukatu ilia detoshi ya modo shio. Ukasi menya ukona modo shio. Ni modo ugeiguo na ikai. Sini ukweli. Sabu kuna watu, hata pira kukuongea sana, hata we mwenyewe, hawezi mpea prea itemi yako. Maana kwanza itaabiwa watu. Sini ukweli. Kwanza itaabia watu. Kabra abia mungu. Itakuwa orede imejaa kila kila mahali. Kwa hivyo itakuwa orede inajurika na kila mtu. Alafu sasa apodiyo sasa anaenda kulipereka kwa mungu. Abile ushenene kana ya prea ite mia kwa soka. Lakini kuna watu. Very serious with God. Ukimuambia tu ni ombe. Ye mwenyewe. Atafunga kwa sababu yako. Akuombe. Dio mirango ifunguke. There are people that are serious with the love of God. Wanapenda mungu. Na wakipenda mungu vile wanapenda. Pia wewe mwenyewe. Kwa sababu wanapenda mungu. Watakupenda na watakupeana kwa mungu. Mungu wakutane na hitajilako. Then another key for you to achieve the promises of God in your life. You must be faithful. Lazima uwe muaminifu. Lazima uwe muaminifu. Uaminifu ni kitu ya maana sana. God's needs people who are faithful. Yeah, wewe ni mwaminifu kweli. Wewe una uaminifu. Katika maisha yako wewe ni mwaminifu. Wewe ukikopewa kitu umkipewa mkopo na mtu, unarudisha. Are you faithful surely? Ama ukipewa mkopo hiyo sasa itakuwa sasa ni uadui umeingia hapo. Hata saa hizi kuna watu hawaongereshani kwa kanisa sababu alinikopea ama nilimkopa na akaninyima haku kunyima kwa kupenda ni vile ameonyeshwa because i tell people hata mimi mwenyewe nikikukopa mam sababu naweza kuzwa leo nikukope nikikukopa eh nipe kile kitu ambao unaweza lose whatever you can lose give sasawa maana watu wengi wakikukopa hawarudishi Faithfulness, watu hawako faithful. Watu ni wengi sana hawako faithful. Unakuta mtu wamekopa, wamekuja, wamekopa chairman wakanisa, wamemuambia nipe mkopo wa elfu kumi, mtoto wako wanaenda kutairi na sina pesa. Na sasa sitaki kumpereka na huku, nataka kumpereka kwa kanisa. Anapewa. Na anaambiwa hii pesa, ujue kuna project na sitairi kufanywa. Ha? Kuna watu watauliza, kwa ni kanina kuna kukopa. Kuna kukopa. Najua kuna mtu anaweza fikia chairman amemkopea ya kanisa na amemkopea yake kwa sababu ya kanisa lazima kuwe na process kubwa sana dio ipate. Kwanza PCA ni nzuri iko na ki process. <laughs> PCA haili hai, hai, si ati ukuje upewe <laughs> iko na ki process kikubwa hata utakufa kabla hiyo process iishe. Kwa hivyo kama ni agent enda kuingine enda kwa app enda kwa app 